Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in, welcome in. Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. <laughs> Uh, I am struggling. I don't. I, I'm sure other people heard the the Roser interview. Uh, I have been sick the last few days, so uh, hopefully you don't notice a gigantic difference in my voice. But uh, but Chris is here to take us on home if uh, if something <laughs> happens. <laughs> so right before Disney, right? You uh, you're headed out tomorrow. I fly out tomorrow, brother. Are you excited? Um, I am. I'm exhausted. I mean, the last couple of days trying to get work ready for this, which nobody cares to hear this, but yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been a madhouse at work and then, and then I'm ready for a break. So now you're, you're gone. What a week? Like just, is it seven days? Uh, we'll be at Disney for seven days. I'll be gone for eight. Not bad. So flying out tomorrow, I'll be back Saturday night. It's, I, I feel like it's the perfect time to go right around the Super Bowl, all that good stuff. Well, I know this that right now, it, with everything else just in life happening, it's the perfect time to get away and just take a break. <laughs> I can uh, I can understand it. Uh, so, for those that don't know, this is the Super Bowl Fifty Four Prop Bet Show. Uh, we we typically do this every year. We're doing it a little late this go round, but we are doing it on a Friday. So you've got Friday, Saturday, and then most of the day Sunday. If you feel like following, I don't know that I would necessarily suggest doing that. Um, because, you know, at, these are more stabs in the dark and things that we're going to have fun with. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll give you our reasoning behind these. We each have 10. Uh, so, basically, you know, if you want to look for return on investment, we would bet like 10 bucks on each, and then we'll just see what happens. But, uh, but we'll give you the odds, and we'll go through as we, uh, as we go. The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six incredible sports books along with a ton of other stuff going on. They got good shows. They got good uh, good concerts, comedy, good steakhouses, good golf, everything else. And you can find all of it over at tunicatravel.com. Go check it out. Do yourself a favor. Uh, go check out winningcureseverything.com. That is our website. You can find all of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, etc. cetera. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and make sure that you leave a comment. Uh, we like to hear what you think. Uh, what your favorite prop bet is, etc. So, uh, oh, if you're on the podcast, make sure you hit subscribe on that as well. Leave a nice review. We're doing 10 each. Chris, how would you like to go about this? You want to do uh, one at a time? Yeah, and I mean, we don't know what the other person picked. So if you think you did one that I picked, then let's let's kind of make that the next one. So okay. we can yeah. kind of, and or if we went against each other with one. So you want to start? You want me to start? Uh, I'll go ahead and start. So that way you can, you can finish it off. Uh, pick number one for me. Uh, I'm going with any time touchdown scorer. I'm taking Patrick Mahomes, and that's a that's a rushing touchdown. So it's okay. he has to cross the goal line. Uh, I'm taking Patrick Mahomes at plus two eighty. So bet ten bucks to win twenty eight bucks. Uh, I think obviously the 49ers have had problems with rushing quarterbacks, especially against designed runs. Uh, I think Mahomes has a chance here, whether it's on a quarterback sneak or uh, one of those designed runs from 10 yards out, whatever, I think Mahomes can get into the end zone. I think plus 280 is pretty good odds on a mobile quarterback. So I am, uh, I'm taking Mahomes to get a rushing touchdown here. There you go. Uh, we'll stick with the Patrick Mahomes theme to start off. Uh, I've got Patrick Mahomes passing TDs over two and a half at Ooh. minus 110. And uh, I, I like him to throw the football. Now, is it is it just passing TDs or is it just, just passing TDs? Not bad. Over two and a half. So I got to get three to hit it. So over to and it's minus one ten. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. If you wanted to take that up to four, three and a half, you would get like plus I don't know one forty five something of that nature. Pretty good odds, but that, that seems like a lot against this forty nine ers defense. It does seem like a lot against four. I think this is going to be a lower scoring game. So yeah, I uh, I I tend to agree with you here. Um, next up for me. San Francisco wide receiver Debo Samuel total receiving yards. Over 54 and a half is minus 135. That's 10 bucks to win back $7.41. Uh, I am all over that one. I think Debo, uh, he has been included much more in this offense here lately. Uh, I, I think that they are not going to be able to just run the football the whole time. Um, so obviously, I think that would go well with Jimmy Garoppolo's stats, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, but I think Debo is going to 
play really well in this game. I think he's going to get a lot of receptions. And by a lot, I'm talking, you know, more than four. We'll say yeah. that. Um, there's there's not a good odds for uh, – or a good odd out there. Did you do receptions or do you yards? Just did yards. Over 54 and a half. Because his, his reception total, I think, is five and a half. Yeah, so I'm, I'm staying away from that one. Yeah. But I think that he'll get over 54 and a half because he is shifty enough that he can break one. Yep. Uh, I mean, you get one 30-yarder. And they've gotten him more you know. involved in the game. I looked yep. for a bet to bet him, and I thought all the prices were a little inflated and a little scary for me. So yeah. I stayed away from all of them. Yeah, so. the over 54 and a half looked good to me at minus 135. Uh, it's a lot of juice, but uh, I feel confident in that one. Okay. So what, uh, what you got right. next? My second one, most first downs in the game total. I'm going with the San Francisco 49ers. You can get them at minus 110, and and I think that is kind of a pretty safe bet. Is that, the that's way minus they play 10? football, they're not a big play offense. They don't score fast. They they they're Army football. They're Navy football. They matriculate <laughs> the ball down the field three yards, six yards, you know, over and over again. That's how you get a bunch of first downs and. Other side of that, Kansas City is an explosive team. They'll score yeah. in three plays. Yep, not a lot of first downs doing that. No, you're right. <clears throat> I mean, I've watched this team win a lot of football games and score a lot of points and not ever win the first down battle. Yeah. So, no, you're uh, you're right about that. I don't know that that's a negative for, for Kansas City. It's just the way I picked it. And I couldn't believe it was minus 110 for both teams. I, I was kind of shocked by that. Yeah, yeah, same here. I'll take um, it. Next one up for me, number three. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo total interceptions over one half. Uh, that's minus one sixty five. Look, Jimmy G has thirteen interceptions on the season in sixteen games. He had eight others that were dropped that should have been interceptions. Uh, he he tends to get a little loose, and I think that they are going to lean a little more on him. Uh, I think he's going to be a bigger part of the game plan because I don't think that they're going to be able to just run the football on Kansas City with with two weeks to prep for this zone running scheme. Um, I I think Garoppolo throws at least one interception. Now, I do still think that that the 49ers could win the turnover battle, uh, but I'm not worried about those odds. The the minus 165, all he's got to do is throw one pick. I think he's good for that. Uh, So 10 bucks to win back 606. Uh, I'll I'll take that all day. My next bet, I'm going right down my list here. Um, Molster. Rushing yards, 76 and a half, and I am going over. It is minus 110. Um, I know that's a lot of yards compared to what the Chiefs have done Wait, what recently. Was, what was the yards? 76 and a half. 76 and a half. Okay. And and I think I think he's gonna I think he's gonna bust this. Um, mainly because I'm putting a lot of eggs in the fact that I don't know how healthy the other running backs are. Um, and I, you know, I think he's been their best runner. So why and Kyle Shanahan's the kind of guy that if he finds something that's working, he's not getting away from it. He's not going to get too cute. He doesn't care. It's a Super Bowl and everybody should get a touch. No, he has pissed one of these away before. Yeah. If he's got something that's working, he he doesn't care. He will cut everybody else's throat. He's going to give this guy the rock. I uh, you know, I'm going a little different there. Uh, what was uh, what were the odds on that one? I got minus one ten. Minus one ten. Okay. Okay. Uh, I. I'm going that something that might be a little contrarian to what you just said. Uh, I think Tevin Coleman total rushing attempts over six and a half uh, at plus one hundred five is a good bet. So ten bucks to win back ten dollars and fifty cents. Um, I I think Tevin Coleman. It, all the signs are he's going to play. I think he he is a little bit of a change of pace kind of back. Uh, we all know that. Um, uh, Shanahan is super comfortable with Tevin Coleman. If he's healthy, I think he is going to get the ball uh, several times. It, and asking him to run the ball seven, eight times in a game, not that crazy. I do think that uh, that Monster is going to get the uh, the majority of it. But I, I think uh, I think Tevin Coleman over six and a half carries uh, at plus one hundred five is a good pick. Okay. Uh, the only touchdown that I got in here was George Kittle will score a touchdown, and I've got even money at it. Really? I don't see the 49ers going through this. If one guy is going to be a monster, this is the only reason I, I walked away from all the Debo stuff, is because if one guy for the 49ers is going to take this game over, 
throw it on his back, and completely dominate the other team. I believe it to be George Kittle. I could, yeah, I could 100% believe I that. think he's the best player on the field when they're on offense. That makes sense. That, and that does so I make get sense. even money at him catching the touchdown. And and we watched it in that Saints game, man. He doesn't have to catch it in the goal line. This guy can catch it at the 40 and take five guys with him, dragging yeah. all the way there. This is a Super Bowl. He's going to be amped up, jacked up, ready to go. I, I just and, and I like the odds. It's even money. Yeah. I, I looked at all of the Chiefs guys, and I guess they're just assuming all these guys are going to score. They were all minus like 165 and 170. I'm thinking I'm – I'm not laying that when they have five or six weapons. Yeah, you know. No, you're right. So, you're uh, you're like hundred percent right. Even money, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm I'm with you there. Um, <laughs> let's see. Next up for me, 49ers total team sacks. I'm going over two and a half, and that is minus one hundred five. Uh, so ten bucks to pay out nine fifty two there. Uh, with the way that this bunch gets after teams, they are. Super now, as I, I talked about with Roser yesterday, um, it, they are not great on third down sacks, but they, they don't are. Have to be. This doesn't care of what down it exactly. is. Exactly, they are fantastic on early down sacks. I mean, yeah. they they almost lead the NFL in early down sacks. They run a completely different defense on third down, which is why they don't get the ball on get the sacks on third down. Exactly. Um, that's that's just it. They're in a different, and usually the other team is behind the 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 marker right so and th- this isn't one specific player this nope. isn't linebackers this isn't D line this is the team over two and a half sacks and I think that's almost a given here like I I, I, fully I, expect I, the I do like that a lot I didn't play it I do like it um um one one of the things I I like about it is I could see the Chiefs dominating this game we talked about the three s- scenarios in which we think could happen a close outcome one way or the other, or the Chiefs blowing them out. And and Mahomes still gets sacked three times because he's just going to keep dropping back and throwing the football. Yeah. No, I, so I, I could see that happen. Uh, I got a, a different kind of one while we're on the sack situation. Okay. What will happen first, a sack or a touchdown? And this is any team gets a sack. And I went sack, minus 110. <laughs> I think somebody will sack somebody. Mainly, we think this is a lower scoring game. And we've also seen Super Bowls. This could be different. Super Bowls always start out the first quarter. Teams are trying to feel each other out. Nobody's being too aggressive. Nobody's being too crazy. And it takes a minute to score sometimes. Yeah. The last couple have been that way. And and so I'm going to trust uh, both of these defenses to get a sack. I, uh, I, I like that pick. I like that one a lot. Um, next one up for me, will the 49ers convert a fourth down? And I am taking no at minus 115. Uh, if you look back over the season, San Francisco has only converted seven fourth downs on the entire year. That's pretty year. small juice for that. Oh, I yeah. Mean, there's a really good chance they won't even attempt one. Right, right. So, uh, for them not to convert a fourth down, uh, I think that makes perfect sense. I mean, one, minus 115, uh, not giving up a whole lot. That's 10 bucks to win back $8.70. Um I, I like that a ton. I don't think they're going to be in a position to have to go for it a lot. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. All right, mine, I'm going to go a little different route here. Total punts in the game by both teams. I went over seven and a half, and I think this is going to my philosophy of, I think it's going to be a little more of a defensive game. The only thing that can hurt me and me still get the defensive game is if both teams just have long drives. Yeah, yeah. I if, could... the, if the Kansas City Chiefs have the offense that they had against the Titans – and the 49ers have the offense that they played against the, the Packers. I'm, I'm, we're not getting the seven and a half in the under. is still as safe as a bet as you can ever have. Yeah. Um, so I'm guessing that both of those won't happen the exact same way. And, uh, and they both won't hold the ball for nine, ten minutes a drive. Uh, and, uh, and they'll just start putting a lot more. That, uh, that makes sense. What, what, what were the odds? Minus 110? Punts, yeah, minus 110 for punts. Minus one ten. Yeah, I'm I'm giving up a lot more juice than you on these. Um, yeah, I, you know, I will tell you, I, I kind of always look at the juice, and that's how I pick all of mine. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, next for me, this is number seven. Forty Nineers total players to have pass reception under six and a half. That is plus one ten. Uh, I think once you get to the Super Bowl, you're not 
going all over the ball yard. You're not. They haven't been great at distributing the ball to a bunch of guys anyway. Uh, I think there are three receivers, a tight end, and you know one or two running backs. So I think mm-hmm. at the most you're going to have uh, you're going to have six guys. So and and if I'm getting plus one ten, they're going to go with the guys that they trust more often. Um, I, I love that bet. Um, ten bucks to win back eleven. I, I'll take that all day. I'll tell you one that might throw a wrinkle in yours. Okay. Now this, I love the juice, so it's not as likely to happen. Will a non-quarterback throw a touchdown? <laughs> so will we get a Philly special plus three forty? Pretty big, massive odds. If you say yes, I'm just going to bet yes. I like the odds, and I think trick plays are going to come out, and I think trick plays are going to come out around the goal line. Yeah, I think if we get a couple of times for a team to have to settle for for field goals more than two times in a row, their next time in the red zone, they are breaking out a trick play. I I just believe that. I think yeah, you stop oh, yeah. them twice. It's what we talked then, about. So yeah, it, it's Andy Reid against Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, and these so. two dudes are super creative. We've seen it happen from so many different teams. Take that Philly special and run with it. Um, and that's the only thing that can hurt you in your how many people will catch the ball if it's the 49ers that break out the trick play because they're the ones that, you know, Jimmy G catching a pass like that could put that over the mark. Yeah, no, that's Something true. you don't think about a lot. But I like it. I love the odds. So and what it's was a fun it, uh, bet to plus, play. Plus 340? Plus three forty. That's uh, that's really good odds there because it, I mean Debo has thrown a touchdown pass this year, um, uh, and uh, Hill has thrown yeah. a touchdown pass this year. Absolutely. And both of these quarterbacks, I believe, are capable of catching the football. Not that the quarterback has to catch it; doesn't matter. Oh, I mean, it could it. be Kittle, it could be uh, Bourne, yeah. it could be anybody. Yeah, it could it could be any way you design it. But lately, it's been going back to the quarterback. So no, you uh, you were right about that. Uh, number eight for me. Will the game be tied at any point after 0-0? And I have yes at minus 130. I think this is going to be a tight game. I think you can see a 7-7. You can see 14-14, to 17-7, something like that. Um, so I think it will be tied again at some point after 0-0. Zero to zero. Uh, So minus okay. 130 is uh, 10 bucks to win back like $7.69. And, uh, and that's nice. So. This is an interesting bet. And I'm very shocked at the odds this year. Maybe I'm wrong. The last couple of Super Bowls, I know this hasn't happened because my Pats have been in it and they've been super low scoring or both teams went back and forth to score, score, score. Um, Will a team score three unanswered touchdowns or three unanswered scores? This could be field goals, everything. The no was plus 120. That's interesting. And I, I... you know, what scares you here is will a team score twice, you know, a field goal and a touchdown before the half, get the ball back at half, and then even another field goal, and you blew this. But I'm going to take the chances on no. I trust both these defenses. I think it's going to be lower scoring. Anything that says no to more scoring, I'm going to I'm gonna take a bet where I get favorable odds, especially at a plus 120 number. Yeah. No, plus 120 is, is pretty crazy. Uh, you and I both think this is going to be really tight. Yeah. And so so getting it plus there is is pretty crazy. Yeah, three three scores in a row is hard. And I mean you I mean we've both all of these playoff games have had this though so far. Yeah. But it's been a team that got down and then the other team came back and both teams technically scored three times in a row. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're like, right. Like so I know it happens a lot. I just don't foresee this game ending up like any of those playoff games. I agree. I agree. Uh number nine for me. Miko Hardman, total receptions under one and a half, and it's plus 100. Now, obviously, he gets two catches, and this thing is blown, but I love the odds here. Uh, Miko, in any game where Sammy Watkins and Tyree Kill are both healthy, the most receptions he has had in any of those games is two, uh, and typically it's only one. So... I, I like the odds here. I think he'll get one reception, but they're going to use him more as a special teams guy. Yeah. Um, so I'm going under one and a half for plus one, even odds. I mean, he's uh, realistically their fifth option on a consistent basis. Yeah. So I, so under one and a half, I love that. I love yeah. that a lot. And you you said it earlier. In the Super Bowl, I, this is not where guys are making sure everybody gets the football. This is where we walk away with the trophy. Yeah. And we don't care about feelings or anything else. We want to win. 
Yep. And and you go with guys you, go, you trust. Yeah, you go to guys you trust. Um, my next two bets, nine and ten, or the same bet, but for each team and each team, I'm a little different. Okay. The number of 49ers to score three and a half is the number. I went under for 105. Now that's a little hairy bet because I believe the kicker counts as somebody who can score. Now it's under four and a half? Under three and a half. Oh, under three and a half. So four people score, I lose it. And the kicker counts. I think the kicker does count. I'm not 100% certain on that, but it just says score. It doesn't say a TD. What's, uh, what, so, what are the odds on that one? Minus 105. All right, what about the uh, the Chiefs? And my second, my 10th bet is number of Chiefs to score over three and a half is minus 125. That's the most juice I laid the whole time. Minus one. If that counts kickers, I believe that is a lock. Yeah, I, I could I could see that. Because I think they well, I mean, I say that. I'm counting on them getting three touchdowns at minimum by three different people and the kicker kicking one. Yeah. But if it's low scoring, which is where I went with the 49ers, then you know, I think a lot of field goals are going to be made in this game. Yeah. And I it I mean, with the 49ers, if Raheem Mostert gets you know, two touchdowns. Jimmy yes. G throws another one. You know, et cetera, et cetera. That, yeah, I could, I could a hundred percent see that. I'm um, not saying he's going to get four like he did the last time, but I'm, I'm also not saying that if Kyle Shanahan gets in the red zone and they know they can't stop him, then they're going to just give it to him. Yeah. And I'm sorry that everybody else missed out on getting touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Yeah. He no, just doesn't care about your feelings. This guy was a part of a blown 28 to three lead. Oh, that yeah. was a black eye on the league for an entire calendar year. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. He's going to be ruthless. I will tell you this. I do think that you've got two coaches here that feel, even though this is Kyle's first as a head coach, because of what he went through as a, a coordinator, he was a part of that team. It was his offense that died in that game that cost them that Super Bowl. I do believe that. And then Andy Reid's just unbelievable path in the, in the playoffs in and throughout his career, um, the heartache and the, and the bad luck or whatever you call it that's happened to him. I think both of these coaches are about as desperate as you can be in a Super Bowl. Yeah, no, you're right. That's I, I, I took the under at 55 and the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I, I kind of wish I hadn't taken that bet. Like I wish I really? just left it alone. Yeah, because I don't know if, if they get desperate enough, I could see a whole lot of crazy stuff come out. But I don't know that that crazy stuff always works. I just think they're desperate. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. Uh, when I say desperate, I think it's going to be a thing where I don't care about it's the Super Bowl and I need to get this guy touches because he's going to be a hero kind of thing. I think it's a we are winning at all costs, and if I run the same three plays over and over again and we go for long drives that score touchdowns, I do not care. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you. I, the other side of this is if they're both desperate – I mean, how close to the vest could they actually call the game? There you know? lies the other issue is, is, well, both these teams defensively are opportunistic. Even, you know, 49ers are a great team defense. Chiefs got some good players, too, on defense. Yeah. If yeah. both these teams try to get a little too wild and defenses could pick up, you know, pick a lot of balls off, have a lot of turnovers. I mean, chaos can ensue when when unconventional game is played. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Will you last? You got one more or two more? I've got one more. Okay. And now this is the most juice. I don't know that it's going to hit, but the juice was was too good to pass up here. Yeah. Uh, will there be a missed extra point? And because of the nerves, because of everything else, yes is what I took at plus 290. So 10 bucks returns 29 or uh, uh, yeah. pays out $29. Uh, Robbie Gould t- is 48 out of 49 on the season, so he has missed one. And uh, and Butker is fifty three out of fifty six. They're so, both pretty damn good, though. Oh yeah, they're both really good. These are these are two I don't want that bet with. But because they have moved the extra point line back, uh, because of the nerves in the Super Bowl, I could see it. So that there's a reason why the juice is plus two ninety. Uh, it's not likely, but the juice was too good for me to pass up on this one. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna take that and and just see, and we'll see if it happens. So I, uh, I feel good about these, you know. I, I think uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun keeping up. Well, with at these. least they're fun. I mean, that's what I care. The only reason I play props are because they're fun. 
Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I've got a massive edge and I have a feeling on the game and I think it's going to go a certain way. And, and sometimes when it works out, you make a, you make a lot and you, you hit a ton. Oh yeah. When it doesn't, now yeah, you're out and you lose a lot and you know, it is what it is. Or if you don't play a lot, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. But, um, but they're fun. They're interesting. They make it to where you've got one game to watch, but you're watching games within games, you know, Oh yeah. especially if you don't have a dog in the fight. It's always been hard for me to do these when the pads are in there because I don't care about anything but the outcome. Talk to me about the score. Don't care about point spread. Don't care about over. I don't care about anything. Yeah. I just want to make sure Tommy is upright and, and, uh, and they win the game and that's it. Yeah. And so without having a dog in the fight, it just makes it so much more relaxed and, and fun to do some of these interesting bets. If you're a diehard Chiefs fan, diehard 49ers fan, you've been waiting for this your whole life. Look, you can bet props all you want if you feel like it, but I'm I am just way too wound, way too tight to to do those things. Oh yeah, yeah because you don't want to be pulling for individual plays. Nope, don't you want to be pulling for the whole thing. Nope, don't care. Ask, you, you've seen me before. Oh yeah, have zero and four, zero and five weeks gambling, but my team got a big win. And what do we? What do I say at the end of that? Ask me if I care. <laughs> I'll go a, make more money. I can go to work tomorrow, and I, I'm gonna punch that time clock, and I can make some dough. All right, I can't get that W back. <laughs> Now you got that right. You got that right. All right. Uh, I think that is going to wrap it up. Of course, go over to tunicatravel.com. Uh, they are the South's premier sports gambling destination. Tunica's got some good stuff. Uh, we will be back down there for the NCAA tournament, March 19th and 20th. It's a Thursday and Friday, the first two days of the round of 64. Uh, we'll have more information on that next week uh, as we are getting everything confirmed and finalized and whatnot. We'll, uh, we'll give you the rundown uh, as soon as we are allowed to. So, but yeah, just keep up with that. We'll uh, we'll be back down there. But go to tunicatravel.com. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave some comments. Tell us what your favorite prop bets are this week. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good game. Uh, I cannot wait. If you're on the podcast, hit subscribe. Uh, make sure you leave a nice five-star review. If you got questions for us, leave them right there in the uh, review on Apple Podcasts. And, uh, and Chris, I hope you have fun at Disney, man. I, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, some stories when you get back. Yeah, it'll be good for the kids. They're celebrating their birthday there, so, you know. What are you celebrating? Nothing. <laughs> Paying for the damn thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's worth it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is worth it. It is worth <laughs> it, you know, so. I got you. All right. I'm not the greatest dad in the world, but I'm a hell of a vacation dad. You got that right. You got that right. All right. Love you, buddy. I hope you have a safe trip. And, Thanks, uh, sir. And we will talk again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com. Or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.